Hey guys, before this video starts, make sure to check out my second channel. I daily upload to it, and if you're interested, make sure to check it out with the link in the description below. Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing Silas Mid. So, like usual, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took, and in this lane, we're playing against Katarina. Pretty medium difficulty matchup, but she tends to have the upper hand by quite a little bit since she actually. Pulls off her damage pretty easily into Silas since he has no direct hard CC and the way she maneuvers around with her daggers makes it hard to land your second portion of it. But it's all good. I took Ignite. Technically, you could take TP, but against Fizz, Yone, anyone who's melee, you could take Ignite. Try to fight them on. Go here is not to get cheesed. Maybe clap back level 3, level 4 through trying to dodge her daggers and level 6 saving her E for when she ulties. That is the goal. But believe it or not, levels 1 to 3, Katarina has a lot of cheese potential. When it comes to cheeky first blood, so we gotta play safe. Get shoved in and then relax for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah those are the runes we took. Conqueror. Inspiration secondary tree, you already know what we're trying to accomplish. And, ooh. and yeah, just trying to farm it up. Close to Shen. Oh man, that might be a real cheeser. I'm not gonna lie. But then again, I mean, it's Nautilus Kaisa. Both champion. I feel like it's whoever gets the taunt or hook off onto the carry first is who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be doing well. But yeah, you want to wait until level 3. It's alright if you have to miss a couple minions. Just soak up the XP. And Silas skills into the mid game like a beast. There we go. It's because we have level lead. Ah. Alright. This is kind of worth... It's kind of worth for Katarina since the wave's in a good spot for her. But it's all good. I get to push her uh, her TP early on. Yeah, see? Not bad. We have Summer Spell Diff. There we go. I mean, I get a good reset off. And I guess that's pretty good. She's going to farm that. Sorry, Jax. I'm going to have to base. Actually, gonna be on my way to building Everfrost. You could build Lucidity Boots first for the CDR, especially on your W. But I just think it's much more beneficial to go for the AP from Lost Chapter <clears throat> and get some flat AP. Oh, level 4 cat feels bad. She has level lead because of TP. Oh. Feels bad. Oh well. Literally, it's you feel the power of uh, Silas as you get more points into your W. Oh no. Should have pinged. Oops. My bad. Just Q out. Do you actually get that? No, you don't. Honestly, if you just ran away, you probably would have lived. But I guess it's my bad, huh? Like, actually, no joke. I just think you should have just walked back and it flashed away and you should have lived that. I mean, it is what it is. You had a lot of time to react. But I should have pinged ahead of time. Alright, peace. Well, I'm gonna try to get a trade here. It could take the long way. Aw. Pin stopper. Feels a bad moment. She has no TP, so she doesn't really... Hold on to the E. She doesn't really want to recall, I'm guessing. Yeah. There we go. 
Nice tower dive, and the wave bounces back. Let's go. Alright, no, just don't fight. Is that does Jax even win that? I'm guessing he wasn't even gonna path towards me, so I didn't really wanna overstay. I get something like that. And I guess Jax doesn't get a kill there. Yeah, getting a kill on Cat, pretty nice. Level 6 is where, I guess, the minor pain starts. The minor pain starts because her ulti is quite killer, honestly. Bot lane? Can you oh, I can't lose this wave, man. Bot lane? Let's go. Using my passive autos. But then out the wave. And this time I will be warding for Katarina, definitely. And we're chilling. Everywhere is warded. Alright, nice. Soon, especially after we build Everfrost, we'll get to the point where we lead off with W and we can use W twice in a trade. Which makes us incredibly, uh... Now she is kind of on even playing grounds with ultis. Yeah, our healing's gonna be OP in these trades. And honestly, I might even look for the shoving room. Hmm. We'll see. I want to see if she just cues the wave and tries to shove it. Oof. The flasher. Now we're chilling. Let's go! I'll take that any day. Good shit. Oh my god. That's why you play Silas. You're just insane with Conquer. Extra healing, 114. I'm pretty sure that, that literally saved me. Silas is such a busted S tier champion, but Riot Games never seems to nerf him. It's insane. It is actually just insane. Alright, we'll get that. Um. I could build Lucidity Boots, but I feel like Kindle Gem will help me a lot, especially in the laning phase. Silas is just quite something. This is uh, technically a hard lane for Silas in general. Ron, oh my god, the grief. Oh my god, the grief. I'm trying to make Katarina lose a wave mid if she does decide to roam. But I'll, I'll be here just in case they try to tower dive, which I don't think they will. So you guys are fine. They have some good ults for me to take besides Callista. Oh, and... Alright. Oh, what? Ah, see? Nice ulti. I think this is doable, not gonna lie. Silas is quite the insane champion. I just need to shut down Kalista, which also is a pain. Champions who shred instead of burst. Silas can typically outlive burst because of his sustain, but when it's consistent damage like Katarina R, Kalista, kite back auto attacks, that's where he tends to struggle a tad bit. Alright, there's Everfrost. 
Ay, ay, ay. It was warded. But uh, I think we're fine. We're fine. I want to take Shenzar. And then go in with Kaisa, maybe. I'll see how that goes. Take Shen R. Garen's R is also not bad. Believe it or not, it is AP. It is an AP ratio, but more of the... Yeah, nevertheless, it is like true damage. So, <laughs> I mean, it's true damage, right? Now, we might have to let that go. We might be able to fight for it, though. I need to take Katarina's R. My R range... Let's go! Oh, massive plays, man. Katarina's R is so juicy there. It's because we do more damage than her. We could pop off like that. Massive. Gotta love playing S tier champions. They go crazy. Oh, man. Good try, Jax. Get him next time. <laughs> get him next time I think if I ever frosted no I needed to take cats R and then use it there's no way yeah there's no way the fight would have been better if I did anything else okay I'll just hover here need a back for lucidity boots and I'm gonna start building towards cosmic drive I could either go that or Zonius. Zonius wouldn't be bad. But Cosmic Drive gives me insane CDR. Which, and then, I could use to fight Katarina. Or just anyone who's melee. My W is OP now. Four second cooldown. You could use it twice in a trade. And it'll stack Conquer. Oh, man. This just sucks. <laughs> this is just is so unlucky, and it just sucks. There we go. It's winnable team. Winnable team. Yeah. They know. This game is winnable. Hopefully. You know, my team, my FF, not gonna lie. We'll do. Oh, I didn't use E. For my second part, at least. Oh. The healing, man! Holy shit! Is literally the healing. Like, how do you? <laughs> oh. Silas, guys, Silas is busted. Write that down on your notepad. All right. The champions S tier and Riot Games brain dead company. They still haven't nerfed this this champion. After all these six patches, they're saying Silas is in an amazing spot. Silas is in a, in a amazing spot. We don't want to nerf him because he's just balanced. Even though he counters anyone who's melee and mid. Hardcore counters. You can play into range lanes pretty well though. It just is a little bit more tricky. You have to give a bit more CS up. And then look for 2v2s in the jungle. To really pop off. But I mean, he is a blind pick. Meaning, you can first pick Silas, and there's no hard, hard counter pick unless it's casted in. Casted in, Katarina's one, but more for high elo. Much more of a high elo counter pick. Just generally speaking, though, it's like. It's so doomed. Oh, man. 
Maybe I can 1v all this. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh my, no shot. Can you kill Callista? Because Callista is their main damage source. And I mean, I can shut down go to Callista. That's not good. Ah, man. I can't just take all that damage. And oh, man, she has anti-heal. 300. That that right there is what stopped me. Is anti-heal that really counters. Kind of sucks. Happens, though, team. It's winnable. <clears throat> mm, I need water. Sucks is I can't fill up this anymore. Or not anymore, but... I'm getting my... Uh, not sink, but... It's like on the refrigerator. It's... it's one second. It's something that like... It's on the refrigerator and it gives water. It's like a... Oh, that was, that was really it. It's not gonna lie. <laughs> Garen is quite... What? Uh, yeah, Garen is quite something. But, yeah. I'm getting that fixed, and I can fill up the water bottle. Right now, I'm getting these, like, scuffed... Not scuffed, but they're just, like, Deer Park water bottles. You know what I mean? One pint. Bro, they go... Like, I drink those in, like, within an hour. An hour or less. I need my gallon chug jug. That's the only thing that keeps me... Keeps me... <laughs> Sitting here for three hours straight playing League of Legends. Not needing to refill on water. Anyways. Oh man. You got caught. That's just doomed. There's four of them. Get me out, please. Get me out. Oh man, I hope it's not worded. Samir, get out. Honestly, stopwatch may be better than Seekers here. If I'm being honest, kind of. Could be better. Um, I might... Let's see. I don't know if I can play with Kai'Sa, but if I can't take Katarina, Katarina's R, I'll take Shen's. I'll take Shen's. Oh, man. I'm not really a frontline. Or, I mean, I kind of am. I have Bruiser type style mechanics but at the same time it's like i could r to fights i'm chilling i i'm not the most tankiest person in the world shen's r has a really good ap ratio too so saving my e for the fight do what they do mid no anti-heal on garen See, I should win this. Team? Alright. Alright. What are we doing here? Alright. Alright. Good job. <laughs> good job. Unstoppable Samir. This is a good sign for something. But Jesus, man. Oh, man. Still winnable. I don't care what people say. It actually is still winnable. I cannot get solo 1v5 like that. I need... Oh, man. I guess that was my bad for getting caught in the jungle. I should have just ulted to Kai'Sa or something. Maybe even Samir now. That she's kind of fed. And I can't even beat Garen 1v1, which is crazy. I thought I could. With my heal. Oh, it wasn't 1v1. Shen ulted, and they I got five men. I lied. Feels bad. I have enough for Zonius. Massive. When Katarina ultis. Oh, shut down. I knew she was alone. She just took blue buff. If Shen was there, I probably would have bursted her quick enough. We're chilling. All right. 
Zonia's buy? It's Katarina and Shenzar. It's so good. Jax, not like this. Oh, it's not his game, I guess. <laughs> not a fun time for him. Shen ult. Shen ult goes crazy, huh? Oh, I could have cheesed it. I'm pretty sure. And Samir gets flashed on. Not bad, not bad. I have Conqueror stacked. Maybe I could fight it. Let's see if I could sweep him here. Oh boy. Unlucky. I think I missed my Q onto Callista. I missed my Q onto Callista, so I couldn't uh, get the kill on her. She didn't have shutdown gold, but still, 300 gold is still a pretty banger power spike. Not power spike, but extra extra gold. Free dragon. Not bad. All that matters is we're farming up. And I made an unwinnable game pretty winnable. And I got ganked. It's not like it was a 1v1 where I solo killed Katarina. I need to go full AP. Yeah, I really don't want to sell Dark Seal though. Huh. I'll just save up for Rabidons. Because it gives me as much AP as of right now as a Needleless Rod. She's right here. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Feels bad. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I kind of <laughs> kind of went a little bit overboard with that. Definitely. Oh, man. <sighs> I went a tad bit overboard with that. It's okay though. We got this in the bag, team. Who is autoing? Oh, they're doing Baron. I was wondering what, what the sound was. That's going to be a dive. Is it? Jax is kind of useless right now. Or he's just really far behind. So, I'd be shocked. Shut down. That's why I flashed. Shut down gold is big gold. Oh, they got it. Callista has rend. Not bad, though. I don't know. We just have to team fight correctly. But yeah, this way to counter Silas is CC, anti-heal, and just burst. Just burst him, forehead. It's like all all mages and assassins, I swear. Just burst him. Oh man, such a joke. The more AP you have, the more healing. Oh yeah, we're stacked. Very good, very good. Yes. 
Oh, they got Baron though. I need to still Shen's ult if I wanted to ult Samir. Actually, it feels bad moments. And I get bursted 1v3 while my team still lost! No! Ah, oh, man! Literally 1v3. Oh my god. Oh, feels bad. They actually win that. That 2v2. But I mean, they have to base. So that way they can protect base. It is winnable. I feel like it just has to be a really good 5v5 where Samir gets like a nasty 5-man ulti. It's like the way to win, I guess. I had, I thought I could win that. That 2v2 would have been won, but Shen ultied. It's Shen diff. Shen is the number one champion. It's just Shen gap. Those shields are killer. I think what they did to nerf Shen was they lowered the, the ratio. Why is he so- oh my god, dead man's pl- ah, oh, Garen's such a brain dead champion, I swear. <laughs> but they- they lowered the ratio of his ulti shield. Which, I mean, I guess is a good enough nerf. This was a while back though, like six patches ago. I can probably turn it on him. I'm right here. Oh, Pogo. There we go. See? You just gotta get to Callista. Oh my god, the silence! Garen! Garen! Oh, I can't stand Garen as a champion. What is this? What is this? Such a brain dead champion, man. Oh. I don't even know if that's the game. Yeah, actually, he's too tanky. He's got Negatron Cloak. Mmm. Ne Negatron Cloak. Anti heal is really good for me. It's just HP and like a little bit of MR. And that's usually enough for Garen to just tank your damage. Oh well. Alright, I missed the E. I griefed it, not gonna lie. That's okay. Oh, he e through me and hit me with an auto. Quadra kill for <laughs> Quadra kill for Kaisa though. Freelo? Freelo? Come on, Jax, you outscaled. Let's go, Jax. That's what I'm talking about. Winnable. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Now Kaisa's stacked on farm. Look, level 15 to level 13. And we have our two towers here. Uh, yeah, okay, so how do we kill Garen? It's gonna be through Kaisa. I might need to steal Shen's ulti. Let's get it.
Almost not enough for void stuff. Not like they have that much MR, but it gives us that like true damage burst. Oh man, we need to contest Baron definitely. If we don't. Oh man. Oh, we have three inhibs down, which means their minions, their minions can probably do all the work in ending the game. Unless we get a really good fight. They actually winning that? No shot. Look at the shield. No. Hey, well we tried. We killed Kaisa. Or Callista. Oof, six 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 AP. Get him. Nice pick. Should be free low from there. Aww. Q slow? Oh, the healing. Something gave anti-heal, I think. Oh, I thought they, it was red buff. No, it was this. Yeah. I couldn't heal. If I could he if they have no anti-heal, you just AFK, you'll win the game, honestly. The healing you get from Silas W is just, it's too broken. But anti-heal gave them enough time to burst me out. It was close. Can they actually win that? Lord Dominic's regards to Mir. Spin it to win it? Aww. Unstoppable Jax, get on to him. Man, League is so toxic, huh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> League is a very toxic game. Oh, uh, again, Jax dies, but League is a very toxic game. It never has to be your fault. Let's just say that. If you feed it, it never has to be your fault if you don't want it to be. It's a game. It literally is the number one game. For toxicity. There's no other game, I'm telling you. But people say Dota, COD. Nah, nah, I mean, it's toxicity. You get a little banter. That's why I call it. No shots. It's a little banter. Aw. See, it's burst that counters me. But we're semi winning. Pog. That's all I call banter. Post game lobby of COD or whatever. It is yelling. It's flame. But it's just banter. League. If you get bad teammates, there's general. It's um. There's actual hatred behind the, the 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 types, man. League is just built different. But that is going to be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.